Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch Surgeon 1 video. And today, we are at Newark. Very close to New York, but not New York. Uh, whatever. Today, we're gonna recreate a flight that happened around eight years ago. And, uh, it's incredibly stormy for some reason. I should turn that weather off, actually. <laughs> today, we're gonna recreate Lot Polish Airlines Flight 16. A lot of people might know that one already. Basically, what happened was, um, the landing gear of the 767 could not be deployed due to to a hydraulics issue and so the plane had to do a belly landing and yeah today we're gonna recreate that flight and uh, talk about a few details now this is the affected plane this is a 767 300 this one does not have winglets and uh, normal general electrics engines the flight was from Newark to Warsaw which is the capital city of Poland. You know what? Let's just um, go ahead and take off, shall we? This is my first ever flight ever, ever in a 767, so this will be quite interesting. Let's have those General Electric's engines do their magic. Okay, uh, let's go. It's a little bit late for a rotation. So yeah, let's put gear up. And legend has it that the gear never came down again. Well, it kind of did come out again while investigating on ground. So yeah, we have a normal departure out of here, maybe a little bit of a steep angle, but yeah. We're just um, casually flying. Nothing is going wrong. You know, the 767 and the 757 have a very interesting personality or something. Yeah, whatever. No, yeah, we're just casually flying out of New York and my FPS are horrible because this city is a lot to render. Oh yeah, the windshield is kind of bugged, but who cares? After around half an hour of flight time, something happened. There we go. Boom. The hydraulic system failed, basically. And now after receiving the warning, the crew decided to still fly over the Atlantic to Warsaw and then do the emergency landing there. The problem is when you obviously have a longer flight, you take a lot of fuel and therefore the plane gets very heavy. And in this state right now, if we landed this aircraft, then the tires would blow on touchdown. And to prevent that, obviously, we would have to burn our fuel or um, obviously fuel dump. Or again, burn fuel and casually fly transatlantic, which is what the flight crew chose to do. So uh, let's just turn right for the Atlantic. That's a pretty significant turn. Oh, the engines have died. That's not too good, is it? Why is the ram air turbine coming out? Uh, whatever, let's just ignore this. This one didn't happen in real life, though. Yeah. Oh, you can hear some screaming in the background. That's not too good. Okay, whatever. Let's just pretend this did not just happen. So the crew decided then to, uh... And the crew also decided it was just easier to, you know, pursue the normal flight to Warsaw. Easier for passengers uh, and easier for the airline. And they also didn't really know what was going to be, well, affected by the hydraulic system having failed. Okay, so I'm going to definitely not cheat and totally gonna fly the whole flight over the Atlantic, which this plane is totally capable of doing in this state. Yeah. Alright, so after some magical magic, yeah, we have arrived in Poland. This is Warsaw Chopin Airport, and this is the runway that we are going to land. No, I mean, this is the runway that we're going to land on. Runway 33. So, uh, but we, we kind of need to uh, initialize our position. Who cares? We don't need instruments, do we? So, yeah, again, we're going to come in for a landing at runway 33. This is going to be a totally perfectly fine landing. Okay, so I've managed to uh, bring back the instruments as they are kind of uh, important, I guess. We don't need instruments, do we? Alright, uh, let's just come in for a perfect landing, shall we? Right now, let's uh, put down the landing gear. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to come out. Oh, I forgot. Oh, oh no. Gear is not down. Even though I've told it to go down. Now, after this, they actually had an F-16 fly by and check if the landing gear is actually down or not. And they figured, no, it's not down. And yes, the landing gear actually was affected by the hydraulic failure. Now, yeah, you would say, huh, there is an alternate way to um, put landing gear down, which uh, uses gravity, but that also did not work, which is very, very, very unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is a very unlucky case. We now have to land without landing gear. Has anyone ever done that before? No. I mean, prior to the flight, obviously. Okay, let's, uh, you know, let's just come in for a landing and hope for the best. We are approaching the runway. All right, the runway is ahead. We are very, very low. I don't know how that could happen. Now, I actually do not quite know how many attempts it took to land this plane, because it doesn't say it anywhere. Now, the problem is that, obviously, the plane is gonna touch down on the engines, so uh, we gotta watch out for that. Oh, gear. Too low. Yeah, yeah, I figured that one. Batar, please. 
Ooh, we have touchdown. Okay. All right. Okay, um, that was perfectly fine, I guess. Now let's evacuate the aircraft. Now, obviously, the crew was prepared for this. The plane took only 90 seconds to evacuate, which is very good. Let's open all doors. All doors are open. Oh, we might also want to shut down the engines. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to have passengers getting sucked into the engines. That's not too good. And as you can see, we have successfully uh, evacuated the aircraft. Now let's watch that landing again. There we go. That was actually not too bad, was it? We have uh, successfully landed without any type of problem. We did kind of have a three-point touchdown. The simulator has crashed now. So uh, I think it's time to say thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.